What if I told you that the Navy's most dangerous operations don't happen on land or in the air, but right on the shoreline? Navy beach landings are some of the riskiest and most intense missions ever undertaken. Let's dive into the high-stakes world of amphibious assaults, where every second counts and the margin for error is razor-thin. Welcome back to Aviation and Nautical Masters. We're revealing the behind-the-scenes action of a Navy beach landing, one of the most complex and daring military operations. From coordinating aircraft, ships, and soldiers to the risks involved, it's an operation designed to secure strategic footholds in hostile territory. But how does the Navy execute such a risky maneuver? Let's find out. Beach landings aren't just about getting troops onto land. They're about overcoming unpredictable weather, rough waters, enemy fire, and dangerous terrain. The logistics alone are staggering. Ships must approach the beach under fire, often while being buffeted by waves, while troops must exit landing crafts swiftly and establish a perimeter. All of this while maintaining communication with command centers and coordinating air support. It's a challenge that tests the full extent of naval strategy and training. Preparation for a beach landing begins long before the ships leave port. Naval forces spend weeks or even months planning every detail of the operation. Intelligence gathering is critical. Understanding the beach's layout, tides, weather patterns, and enemy positions can make or break a mission. But that's just the start. Before a landing begins, the Navy conducts extensive rehearsals. From loading ships with tanks, supplies and personnel to timing the landing craft's approach perfectly, every detail is practiced to ensure the mission runs smoothly. And don't forget the role of special forces teams, often deployed ahead of time to secure the beach or sabotage enemy defenses. Now, what if I told you that modern US military beach landings are more high-tech than ever? Let's dive in and explore how they pull off these incredible feats using cutting-edge technology and highly specialized craft. From stealthy hovercraft to amphibious assault vehicles, the US military's ability to conquer coastlines is a true marvel of modern engineering and precision. Whether deploying troops or moving massive equipment, Every move is calculated, swift, and highly efficient. You won't believe the level of innovation behind these operations. The LCAC is the Navy's high-speed hovercraft, designed for rapid deployment during amphibious landings. Unlike traditional boats, the LCAC hovers above both water and land, bypassing mines, debris, and rough terrain that would stop a conventional landing craft. With a top speed of 40 knots, it's the fastest option for transporting heavy vehicles like tanks and trucks. The LCAC can carry up to 75 tons of equipment, making it essential to move armored cars and artillery to the front lines quickly. The Landing Helicopter Dock, LHD, is a floating airbase during amphibious operations. It's like a mini aircraft carrier, launching helicopters and tilt-rotor aircraft such as the MV-22 Osprey. These aircraft can insert troops directly onto the shore or into remote inland areas. The LHD is also equipped with landing craft and armored vehicles, making it a versatile tool in any amphibious assault. Whether inserting troops by air or sea, the LHD provides logistical flexibility to military commanders. The LCU may not be as fast as the LKT, but it's durable and reliable, 
This traditional boat-like landing craft is perfect for carrying large payloads such as tanks, artillery and troops directly onto the shore. It's designed to handle rough seas and operate in various conditions, making it a workhorse for amphibious operations. Although slower than its hovercraft counterpart, the LCU's durability and load capacity make it a critical element in large-scale landings. Amphibious assault ships like our LHA, LHD vessels are the backbone of any central amphibious landing. These massive ships can launch helicopters, tilt rotor aircraft, and amphibious landing craft. Their primary mission is transporting and supporting Marine Corps units during an assault. Whether launching airborne forces or deploying landing craft to storm a beach, these ships provide unparalleled support in getting troops into contested zones. The Shi'ech 53E Super Stallion is the heavy lifter of the skies. This massive helicopter can transport everything from troops to Humvees and artillery. It's essential for bringing in heavy equipment quickly during an amphibious assault. Its ability to lift over 30,000 pounds means it can deliver large payloads directly to the battlefield, cutting down the time needed to set up critical infrastructure once the beach is secured. The Shire MV-22 Osprey is a unique tilt-rotor aircraft that combines the vertical takeoff and landing capabilities of a helicopter with the speed of a plane. This dual role makes it ideal for amphibious operations. The Osprey can quickly insert troops into remote or contested areas far beyond the beach, allowing for rapid deployment. It's a game-changer in getting forces to the front lines swiftly and securely. Small, fast and versatile, RIBS are the go-to choice for Special Operations Forces during amphibious operations. These boats can be launched from larger ships and are used for covert insertions of small teams. Whether it's a night raid or reconnaissance mission, our HIBs allow Special Forces to reach the shore silently and swiftly. Their speed and maneuverability make them perfect for quick response missions. The LPD is a versatile amphibious warfare ship vital in transporting and launching landing craft, helicopters and marines into an assault. Capable of deploying both LCACs and AAVs, the LPD acts as the staging point for amphibious forces. It is designed to carry many troops, vehicles and equipment. It can launch everything from air support to amphibious assault vehicles, ensuring that the forces have the resources needed to succeed on the ground. Finally, the Shire AV is the armoured workhorse of amphibious landings. These vehicles can quickly move from sea to shore, carrying Marines and their equipment into the battle zone. AAVs protect the troops inside while crossing rough seas and contested beaches. Equipped with weaponry, they can also provide fire support once they land. Their ability to transition seamlessly from water to land makes them an invaluable asset in amphibious operations. Whether it's through the air, across the water, or straight onto the beach, modern amphibious operations rely on a wide array of vehicles and craft to execute these high-stakes missions. From the LCS speed to the armoured protection of the AAV, each vehicle plays a crucial role in ensuring that military forces can move quickly and effectively from ship to shore. These technologies, working together, form the backbone of modern amphibious warfare.
On the day of the operation, it's all about timing and precision. First, amphibious assault ships launch landing crafts loaded with troops, tanks, and other equipment. As these crafts approach the beach, naval gunfire and air support rain down on enemy positions, softening defenses. Meanwhile, helicopters hover overhead, ready to deploy more troops or provide immediate medical assistance if needed. Once the landing crafts hit the sand, troops rushed out to secure the area, while heavy equipment, like tanks and artillery, followed to establish a firm beachhead. It's a sight to behold. Dozens of landing crafts, helicopters, and naval ships all working together in one fluid operation. The most famous beach landing in history? D-Day during World War II, when the Allies launched a massive assault on the beaches of Normandy. That operation marked a turning point in the war, showing how crucial beach landings can be to gain strategic advantage. Fast forward to modern times, and today's beach landings, while more technologically advanced, still carry the same risks and require the same level of bravery. In recent operations, such as in the Middle East, beach landings have been vital in securing critical positions in hostile regions. One of the most significant risks in a beach landing is vulnerability during the approach. Landing crafts are exposed and troops sit ducks as they move toward the beach. To minimize this risk, the Navy uses advanced stealth technologies, air cover, and electronic warfare to jam enemy radars and communications. Additionally, highly trained SEAL teams are often deployed ahead of time to scout the area and eliminate potential threats before the main forces arrive. Beach landings are one of the most daring and complex military operations in the Navy's playbook. Everything has to be perfectly coordinated from the initial planning stages to the moment the first soldier steps onto the beach. It's a high-stakes operation that requires not just bravery, but precision and discipline. If you found this breakdown of Navy beach landings as fascinating as I did, make sure to leave a comment below with your thoughts. And don't forget to check out my other videos for more deep dives into military operations. Thanks for watching and see you next time.